was your take on the performance today? I think as a team we, we performed well. I think we had spells, first 20 minutes of the first half, um, and then we had a little dodgy patch for about 10 15 minutes, but then we finished the first half strong as strong again. Second half we came out slow, they, they, they started the second half well, but after the two goals went in, we, 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 put, we put a really good bit of play together. We were pinning them in, we, we were keeping the ball in their half and, and at one stage I thought we'd get right back in it, but it uh, wasn't meant to be frustrating goals. So, um, yeah. yeah. Because what was impressive from us from the sidelines was the, the first half especially, we really took the game to Boston. Yeah, definitely. We, we were saying at half time we were a bit disappointed we weren't three or four up with, with the chances we had. So, um, we we came out we came out far and we, we were we were the best team like you said and uh, yeah that, that that's the conference north for you if you don't if you don't punish them when you're on top and, and when you're getting the chances then they'll come back to bite you and, and that's that's what happened today they they punished us for not punishing them and the coach Mark Richards seems to give new license to get forward even in open play because first off I saw Ryan Green up in the final third and then you came up during open play which is very unusual. Yeah, well, that, when when you're playing with the three centre halves, I suppose on the on the switch of play, it gives you a chance to step in and take the space and and, and step into midfield, commit someone may, maybe, and uh, get get a bit further up the pitch. So, yeah. And how close did you think you were to scoring in the first half? That couldn't have been far off target. Yeah, I mean, I just got a little flick at the front post and uh, ne yeah, nearly went in, but just slightly wide in the end. So. What are the players like in the dressing room after a defeat today, given that you were so enthusiastic coming into it? Yeah, well, like, like you said, I, I, the first half was so positive. We, we were coming in at half-time, everyone was buzzing, everyone was, everyone was happy with it, and, and we really thought we could have got some out of the game. So to concede the goals in the manner that we have with the first two set pieces, so we, we, knew, we knew that was their threat before the game started. We knew they were a big, strong side. Good in the air, and uh, it's that, that's that's what cost us today. So it's, it's frustrating. The lads are the lads are frustrated with it, um, but there's there's positives as well. So um, we we we've got another game on Tuesday soon. It's a quick turnaround. So hopefully we can put it right there. But another tough game, tough of the way. But players that have come in, they look to have added a lot to it, a lot more creativity, and and the passing style that Hereford fans have been used to seems to be back. In evidence. Yeah, definitely. Um, Rick has come in. He's, he's freshened it up a little bit. Um, brought brought new players in. Got got a bit of pace in the side as well. And um, yeah, going going forward, I think I think there's there's positives to look forward to. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you.